this next tribal council of Sierra does not find the idol, I very well could be in that same position that Tina was, me going up against Sierra, and only one of us can come back in the game. Um, I can honestly tell you I'm not going to look at Sierra and say, do you want this? <laughs> you know, do you want me to roll over so you can take that? Um, that that's not going to happen. I think Sierra knows at that point. For the Moretz, the best thing for us at that point would be me getting back into the game. And then I just have to win two more challenges. If I get back in the game, two more challenges and I'm sitting at the final three. And that would be the best for the Moretz at that time. You know, I'm not really surprised that Tina asked Katie, you know, are you good with this? You know, before she walked through that door, she's like, I, don't, I, I haven't won this yet, are you good with it? I'm not surprised that Tina asked her that. Um, but, but you know what, I'm, I'm glad that, Tina, that Katie said no. I mean, you know, cut the apron string. She said, nope, you won it, you go ahead and do it. <laughs> what pride is it when somebody hands you a victory and says, here you go, you won. I mean, you do that to you. People coddle their kids so much. Everybody wins awards for everything. Now, you, you play in a thing and everybody gets an award. Everybody gets a trophy. Big deal. Kids are looking at it going, yeah, but I hit a home run and, you know, I had a no-hitter no game and that kid got a trophy too. And I've never been like that. you got to earn it so that when you do win it, Sierra's going to be so proud to say, I knocked my... I might be 80 at that time. I knocked my 80 year old mother off that pedestal or however old I am. And I'm, Katie, you can see, was that same way. She didn't want it to be handed to her. And I was so proud of her. She said, nope, I, I don't want it handed to me.